All right, we all know it's not fall without apples here in Connecticut. Caitlin Francis is taking us to a seasonal staple that is B.F. Clyde's Cider Mill in Mystic. Take a look. Born into it and you gotta die to get out of it, my grandpa used to say. Amy Harrison is fifth generation at B.F. Clyde's Cider Mill. Her great, great grandfather started the business back in 1881 in Mystic and not much has changed. The mill is all original. It's the original equipment. She says her grandfather taught her father how to use the equipment, and her father then taught her brothers. Everything was built to last, and they maintain it very carefully. Because they have a tradition to uphold. Cider, of course. It's something that's, that's not changed. It's remained the same over the years, basically. I mean, yeah, we've expanded a little bit. We've added another building and, you know, we've put in wines instead of just the hard ciders and we've expanded our season, but the basics of it have remained the same. We're, you know, we've always been family orientated. You know, we love people that, I mean, we've got people that are bringing back, they came when they were kids and are bringing back their grandkids. They make apple wine, hard cider, now cider slushies. We're always coming up with something new, you know, every year. We try to anyway to make it, you know, a little bit different every year, but still the same. And Harrison's mother and aunt make cider donuts. She gets here at 4 o'clock in the morning on the weekends um, with my aunt, her twin sister, to make donuts. And they don't leave until 7 o'clock at night. People come from all over to visit during their season. We start um, the 1st of September and we go to about the second week in December, depending on the weather, the apples. Um, because we are steam powered, we can only go a certain amount of time before we have to worry about things freezing with the water. Um, but yeah, it's a long season. It's every day. The family here, we work seven days a week, 10, 12 hours a day. You can see people gathering around the old mill to watch the whole process. They can walk around and, you know, look in since COVID hit. We used to let people in the building and we can't anymore. So we, um, we used to have special demonstrations on Saturdays and Sundays at 11, 1 and 3. Now we start around um, 10.30 or so and we go on and off until about 1. Harrison says they get apples trucked in from the Hudson Valley in New York just like this. And they go through between 80 and 100 tons of apples a week. It's crazy, but I wouldn't trade it for the world. You know, I love what I do. Um, not many people can go to work and do the same thing that their great-great-grandfather did in the same way. She says it's a blessing to work with her family in the village she grew up and have people come visit year after year. The people that come here to come to see us don't just come here to see us. Like you said, they come, I mean, we get people from New York, New Jersey, you know, Massachusetts, and um, they don't come, I mean, they come to come here, but then when they're here, they go downtown and they have lunch or they have dinner or they stay at the hotel and go to the casino or they check the village out, go to the aquarium, the seaport, you know, so we like to be involved in it all. <laughs> BF Clyde's Cider Mill is open now through early December and then we sleep. <laughs> In Mystic, I'm Caitlin Francis, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. All right, to find out more or to plan your visit, go to ClydeCiderMill.com.